there's lots of programs out there, but the Teach One to Lead One uh, is a great program because it, it brings in uh, business and industry and community leaders right into our classrooms. Having those community leaders come in, those business leaders that um, speak to those soft skills that, uh, that employers are looking for, whether it's communication, whether it's conflict resolution, whether it's uh, teamwork, goal setting, you know, all of those are just critical elements to help students be successful. We started this directed studies class to work with freshmen who maybe in the past had struggled in middle school and we felt like bringing kids together um, and creating a bond between the kids would be good and then also folding something in to kind of look at the future for the kids was going to be important too. So we invited Teach One to Lead One to come into the classroom once a week and it's been really fun to watch the kids transform and as they learn the universal principles on a week-to-week -week basis and they grow their knowledge and they grow in general, they're really blossoming. We're watching these kids make connections in the school and more importantly make connections with adults and people within the community. The part that's kind of neat about the Teach One Lead One program is it pioneered really what we're doing at this high school and our administration at Battleground High School is 100% in with connecting with our community. It's just absolutely amazing to see where we started four years ago and where we are now and it's amazing. We see our students all throughout our community. We can't hide. We're right in the middle of Battleground and the mentors that you guys bring in are, are leaders in this community and I've seen it firsthand how amazing it is for them to work with our students and for students to see people where they walk into Burgerville and they know people working and they know that it's a safe place for them to go. They've made that connection and we have students that have been in the Teach One Lead One program that are now getting jobs in our community and doing good things in our community because of the mentors they met through Teach One Lead One. To see that positive influence immediately show an impact on how the kids felt about themselves and then also how they felt about their peers. I've never cried before with students and here the first year, I think probably the third week with Teach One to Lead One, I mean just the positive statements and how they feel about how they're doing in school has just been really emotional and neat to watch. Kids don't relate to adults and they don't understand that adults have been through struggles too and they feel like they're the only ones that are experiencing these things at this time. And to have the mentors stand up there and explain the struggles that they've been through and here they are successful, their moms, their dads, their firemen, their executives. So it gives them kind of a light at the end of the tunnel and I know it's natural for teenagers to kind of only see day to day and to have mentors and people from the community come in, admit that they've struggled, admit that things have been hard, and then see that by grabbing these universal principles and moving forward, they've been able to be successful, both with family, but also with careers. The Teach One to Lead One uh, Appreciation Luncheon is a huge part of our school. And what it is, is that our Teach One to Lead One mentors and our Teach One to Lead One students work together and create this massive luncheon. And it serves over 200 people. And then they work together in inviting all these teachers, whether it's certified staff, classified staff, and they um, write handwritten notes and personalized letters. And they're doing everything from coordinating the decoration to they write hundreds of signs and they put them all throughout the school. Um, then they set up um, little service tents and tables and tablecloths. They put together arrangements for the middle of the tables. It's a really neat deal. They just want to show the teachers how much they respect them. And that's a huge principle that we teach with the Teach One Lead One program. It's just what is respect and how do you show respect? It's hard for our kids. For me, that takes a lot of courage. And I know we talk about that in the program. It's not easy for kids to get out of that school mentality or the way they play school sometimes and just be themselves. And the fact that they can be themselves and just do what they do is absolutely amazing to watch. And it's, it's just absolutely powerful. What I've really come to appreciate about this program, it has empowered many of those students um, to achieve beyond where they thought they could uh, achieve. You know, certainly uh, when you think about integrity and compassion, uh, courage, having honor uh, with their work, 
um, you know, the life skills and impacts that uh, our mentors are making within the lives of, of those students, individual lives of those students, um, is really imme immeasurable. It's that factor of making a connection, building a community, and making our students feel safe. Because we know if they have a positive connection at school, if they have someone that they know they can connect with, and even if it's once a week they look forward to it, then it's going to set them up for success. And they can have that success through all those principles that we teach. Kids are suffering right now. There's a lot of stuff going on in the community. Um, I was joking with some adults the other day and you know the old stories of I walked to school uphill both ways in the snow and adults kind of feel like they had it rough. Actually these kids have it rough. School is a lot harder, a lot more rigorous, the competition is a lot more intense and then throw on top of that problems in society that we have and it's manifesting itself in the school setting. And we're now to a point that we need to connect with these kids and it needs to be a lot bigger than education. They need social support. And having these mentors come in and connect with them and these kids see positive adult relationships that are strong and structured, that's what education needs to become. And to think that we have people in our community willing to come in and work with these kids and show them these positive relationships, I wish I could have it in every single class. I wish I could have every adult possible come walk the halls and be with these kids because we need it. We really need it now.